Hey guys, Hope Life here. Gonna be doing reaction to Kirby vs. Majin Buu Death Battle. It's funny, I could have sworn I reacted to this. I've seen it so many times, like over a year ago. Sort of. I'm gonna try a theory. Yeah, I've seen this, but it, with my memory, it's shit, so. One of the downsides of having autism. Your memory kinda slips away quicker than normal. And as a guy, we already have a shitty memory as is. Don't get mad at us, ladies. We're just really forgettable. <laughs> it's just how we are. Good to mean we don't love ya. <laughs> but anyway, even the other. All right. So, I guess we'll just get into it. A three, a two, and one. I'll do the Superman one. Imagine next. right now, what does the apocalyptic destroyer of worlds look like? Stop thinking because you're wrong. Pokemon it's these Nerd. pudgy pink terrors. Uh, Meg, Kirby, what? Nintendo, oh, those are old ones. of never ending cheer and dreams. And <laughs> Majin Buu, the most vicious monster in the Dragon Ball universe. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, I actually armor, like Majin and Buu. skills to find out who would win a death battle. I hope I could do it one way. The thing on top. Over a thousand years ago, an epic war waged throughout the universe. Oh, this must be the Kirby. The legendary Star Warrior. I've actually in the the only seen maybe one of episode of Kirby, and that was it. Ultimately, good prevailed, but at the cost of many, many lives. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Relax, buddy. Yet Such one is infant more. Star Warrior escaped the carnage, destined to awaken a Star millennium Warrior. later and save the galaxy. His name is Kirby. It's coming right for us! Wait, what? <laughs> the cute and cuddly pink puffball who lives and, in Happy Land? Uh, Are you sure you're reading the right backstory? Yes, the crash landed on Hot Star, the most what's confusingly called, shaped planet ever, and has been defending the kingdom of um, Dreamland ever since. we fight other characters? What? I was yeah. always Kirby. He's just so adorable and cuddly. He couldn't hurt a fly. I was always Kirby such a, a dick as a Kirby. I'd swallow them up and just jump off the edge. Did you do this? Holy shit! He may not look it, but Kirby is a powerhouse. He possesses incredible strength, speed, durability, and an arsenal Super Smash Brothers. an average there we go. day in Florida. His trademark power is his inhale ability, which sucks almost everything in with a powerful I vortex. I go with Kirby when because... When he can clear out everything from a quick meal to an acre of yeah, like forest I said. in a matter of seconds. Ah! Uh, you obese fucking mule! <sighs> I hope you have a heart attack so big... It kills your whole fucking family. Plus, Kirby's body is malleable, allowing him to stretch his yeah, mouth. Yeah, Kirby's just unkillable. Objects, though he does have trouble wrapping his mouth around extremely large and heavy things. Like my uh. dick. Kirby uh. is nothing, allowing him to inflate Boomstick. his body and fly like a sentient balloon. He can also traverse the skies and outer space using his personal vehicle, the Warp Star, which he can call up at any time on speed dial. No, really, he uses a cell phone. Somebody get me that number. I tried 1-800-PINK-RIDE, but it was... I gotta again. try some new games. The Warp Star is Kirby's World primary Warcraft means endlessly, of transportation and through the universe and it. can fly <laughs> at speeds faster than light. It is forged of Kirby's own energy, so while delicate, should it be destroyed, Kirby can easily create a new one on his own. Making oh, wow. his cell phone kind of pointless. <laughs> I'd be happy to take that phone off of his hands, <laughs> though Boom. I'm a bit iffy on standing anywhere near that star-driving balloon marshmallow. <laughs> he doesn't even care. He's a monster. <laughs> it's about to get even worse. Uh, Guess what just happened and, to that uh, poor creature? Yoshi would See, probably get along just fine until exactly Kirby die. steals his food, then Turns they go Kirby's kill each other. <laughs> is, in fact, an entirely separate and endless That'd be a dimension fun battle reality. Watch. So he never feels full. But Kirby would win your always. Money's worth at an all you can eat buffet though. Kirby can trap thousands of victims in this abyss. Then That's he okay. can actually enter his own stomach dimension and draw from his captive's power using his copy ability. Wow. How in the hell does he like swallow himself? He likely projects an astral image of himself within the dimension which can act on the physical plane. Sure. 
Anyway, with the okay. copy ability, Kirby's form and power Me brain don't understand, but okay. Eating. By devouring an enemy with a mallet, he can become Hammer Kirby, <laughs> the master of whack-a-mole. <laughs> Fire Kirby can unleash a torrent of flame and survive all manner of heat. Ice Kirby freezes foes solid. Wheel Kirby is fast enough to drive around the entire kingdom of Dreamland in under two seconds. The how big is Dreamland? The going. There's Mike Kirby, whose singing talent is apparently so awful, everything that hears it dies. <laughs> like Wiz at karaoke night with the ladies. Yeah, uh, hey, Stone Kirby is nearly I think I'm actually not that bad Kirby at karaoke. Some will lose, some are born to sing the blues. With a blade, he can even fire sword beams, which can cut I just only did it once, and that was mercy. it. Damn! But that's not I gotta all. Get he one. can pour a ton of energy into the blade and make it grow into the powerful Ultra Sword. <laughs> Holy shit! Fighter Kirby like I said, it's been an extremely long time, so I don't remember miracle, hardly any of this. He becomes Hypernova Kirby, capable of devouring worlds. Last oh, that is bullshit. Least, by absorbing his own warp star, Kirby can create his ultimate weapon, the Star Rod. A magical staff powered by dreams and capable of yeah, destroying Yeah, you use that in that game, and the, most uh, of the, the only Super Smash Bros, and that thing is pathetic. Is they don't last. One bad hit, and there it goes. But even without an added ability, Kirby is remarkably tough. He's powerful enough to crack a planet in half, oh, fast bullshit. enough to run on water, and strong enough to throw a monster 30 times his size on a frying pan all the way to the sun, circled the burning star, and returned to Kirby's feet with a perfectly cooked monster. Absolute bullshit. I think that might be the most ridiculous feat we've ever seen on Death Metal. <laughs> but he's not just strong. He's so tough that he was barely phased after being crushed under thousands of I want to see him and Goku fight. That'd be and interesting. Oh, wait, no, we're an already going to do a mushroom. Never mind. To eclipse the entire world. He's achieved all of this despite being only eight inches tall. See, it's not the size of the it's monster. True. It's how he throws a fucking humongous so... frying pan into the sun and back. Well, Kirby yeah. does have one crucial flaw. Something like that. He's a baby. Kick the baby! Kick the baby. Kick the baby. <laughs> and has yet to fully mature as a Star Warrior. Yeah, he's not too bright, so he's not gonna be whipping up any genius strategies mid-fight. Fortunately, <laughs> he's powerful enough to get away with it. Kirby is the most all the food he's been eating, I, I can't imagine how massive the piles of shit he leaves behind. <laughs> That is one big pile of shit. True terror is something Who doesn't like Dragon Ball Z? It's so freaking awesome. Dreadfully deceiving. A perfect description for the pink monstrosity known as Majin Buu. I actually first learned about Dragon Ball Z when I was like living in a trailer. Majin Buu Out is a fat pink man sized baby thing with a yeah, power I to live in a planet. Yeah. And I assume Old he's style, made of some sort of bubblegum. Probably <laughs> Big League 2. Buu has existed since the dawn of time, but was Our only discovered 5 million years ago by the nefarious wizard Bibbidi. Bibbidi released Majin Buu on a helpless. I haven't seen that kind of. I've seen that everything. in so long. After annihilating hundreds of planets, Bibbidi That's the thing about me, I, I see so episodes once, sealed capsule just but to be released. I just never see them again, then unless they're on Netflix or something. Before he can get to Earth and release you guys think Hulu might have it? But no worries, the weird lizard wizard thing had a backup plan in the form of a magic clone named Bobbity. Yes, a clone? clone? Son, that was a mistranslation. So, Bibbidi, Bobbity, and Boo. Put <laughs> them together and what do you Oh get? yeah, there. A Disney lawsuit. <laughs> the doppelganger Bobbity set out on a quest to recover Boo and complete Bibbidi's plan. Eventually, Bobbity found Boo and opened the monster's shell. But turns out there was a slight defect, and Boo was. Um. Hello, I'm Fran Drasha. Ah, kill it, kill it! A complete idiot! <laughs> yeah, because he absorbed a very friendly. Kai, Majin Buu. which is like almost like a god, but something. Oh. Who is the equivalent of a man-sized toddler with the power of a billion nuclear warheads? Thank God, my intelligence is like a little bit higher than his. <laughs> Talk about your terrible twos. 
who has a ridiculous arsenal for killing worlds. He can fly, shoot lasers. That's the one universe you never want to be in. Too hard and Talk to Anime America, they'll tell you. <laughs> that turns people into candy. Boomstick, that's not his genitals, it's his... Ah. Oh, actually, I don't know what it is. Which brings me to his Antenna, strangest ability, I guess. his whole body in general. Whatever he's made of, it's magic in nature. Boo's body can be pulled, stretched, or even ripped apart with no negative effects. He can even pull entire wow. slabs from his belly and use his own flesh as a weapon. Oh, that's ah, bullshit. This is just getting stranger and stranger. Yes, and he apparently does feel pain, though it seems to please him. Like some sort of combat masochist. Fortunately, yeah. his body can regenerate almost instantly. He can be blasted to smithereens and reform himself in seconds. He's Unless you throw him into the sun, then... Who can see. mimic any key attack after seeing it in action only once? This is how he learned mm. Goku's Kamehameha Wave and Supreme Kai's instantaneous movement teleport. But huh. his copying prowess goes even further. He can physically absorb other people, yeah. transforming his mind and body. Yes, come to me! He became that form because... A part of him was shot out. Yeah. That's the well, you'd have to see disturbing it, thing I have ever seen. Each version of Boo has a different personality based on whom he's absorbed. Fat Boo is cheerful and childlike due to absorbing the carefree yep. Grand Supreme Kai. But then there's his original and most dangerous form, Kid Boo. Yep, he's so the tiny. social he's psychopath. Like a kid in MZ Hammer Pants. This can't seriously be his deadliest form. Kid Boo is pure rage incarnate. I want to watch my show. Oh, now she's having a tantrum. I'm here, sweetie. Ow! Screw you, you little turd! He can get so angry, he's capable of tearing holes in the fabric of reality just by screaming. Jeez. Or if he's fed up with whatever planet he's on, he'll just blow it to bits with his planet burst attack. In a universe chock full of planet it's monsters, so it's... Majin Buu is one of the strongest. It's so funny, it's stupid because entire galaxies by systematically obliterating each planet. One yeah, by because one everyone could do that in the he universe. It's like most of Dragon Ball Z, why you have to make everyone OP? Including Vegeta, Gotenks, and Gohan. He one-shot the King of the Demon Realm and easily bested the Supreme Kais. Who are like the gods of other gods. So needless to say... Yeah, but uh, if you've seen the strong. newest uh, but he's also extremely Dragon Ball Z, so you'd know that. About strategy or Master Buu is no longer... And while his yeah. regenerative ability seems to make him indestructible, Buu is one of the only Dragon Ball characters whose body like has being. been visibly affected by ordinary bullets. And while being able to destroy planets, his body's not tough enough to tank the explosion, forcing him to regenerate from a mess of pink particles. Despite having the mind of a child and a body of Play-Doh, Majin Buu might just be the deadliest villain in Dragon Ball history. At that time. The, the new Dragon Ball uh, Z... Dragon Ball Super? Or? All right, the uh, combatants are set. Let's yeah, I think it was Dragon Ball Super. For all. But first, if you like Dragon Ball, make sure you check this out. Where they actually meet the God of Destruction and stuff. I never Super collect God, stuff like that. He's my best friend. Yeah, that's the stuff I was talking about. Super Saiyan God what? and stuff. My Super Saiyan God form would eat Superman for lunch. Like a delicious muffin. <laughs> That's right. I'm talking to you, Ben Singer. But you can't even sing. <laughs> we see them then. They're very angry. Toy Story much. Comments. We see everything. <laughs> I don't want you anymore. What? Merry Christmas. These totally not possessed limited edition pop vinyl figures exclusively at Funimation.com. Click the link below and use the code DBZ Screw Attack for 10% off only at Funimation.com. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Hey, we're Kirby's home. Dolly's 
really bizarre creature. <laughs> Kirby gets it. <laughs> now it's on. Oh, what? You're gonna cry? No, go ahead, cry. Let me see you. Let me see you cry. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's barely doing any damage to me. Knock that power out. <laughs> oh shit! gonna try to absorb you. Oh, he's gonna absorb him. <laughs> yeah, you get a sword. It's gonna suck for every living creature on that. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn, ultimate combo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Scared the shit out of him. Or the power out of him. Yeah, well, he's gonna absorb you. In the infinite universe. No! No! Now he's probably gonna turn the kid to. Yep. <laughs> you really hate yourself, don't you? <laughs> and the planet destroyer. Might want to absorb that. Oh, nope, they didn't destroy the planet. Okay. Hi. Yeah. I guess you're a martial artist now? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I tried karate once before when I was little. <laughs> he keeps getting knocked out. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, buddy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I just obliterate his ass. <laughs> you 
still got your ultimate bat power. Just saying. And that'll destroy your world. Dear. Well, that world. <laughs> you can always find a new one. Yep, his ultimate power. In that form, he's... He's a god. <laughs> and you're gonna blow up the sun, really? It's gonna be a very dark world. Uh, you're the sun, really? Hi! No way! Did that seriously just happen? Yep. Oddly enough, <laughs> speed and durability matched and surpassed Boo's. Yes, Boo has more destructive capability, but Kirby's inhale and copy ability let him absorb and rebound anything that could have killed him. And Kirby's no slouch when it comes to power. He tanked a planet-sized explosion without a scratch when the same kind of blast turns Boo into mush. And remember the frying pan thing? Pop Star is approximately the same size as the planet Shiver Star, which is actually a post-apocalyptic Earth. Uh, this means Pop Star's gravity and escape velocity must maybe be I should watch that show. <laughs> Throwing the giant acid monster Popon up to the sun means history sounds very interesting. Three and a half tons over 25,000 miles per hour, and that's not even counting the giant frying pan or the return trip. And Kirby's warp star moves faster than light, a speed Boo has never had to combat before. <laughs> but Boomstick, Boo could have teleported away from the planet first ball, right? Well, his instantaneous movement has limits in extreme situations, such as when he didn't use it when a similar giant ball of murder mm. was killing him at the end of Dragon Ball Z. Boo just couldn't stomach this fight. <laughs> the winner is Kirby. Next time on Death Battle. I'm not sure if I reacted to that. Yeah, I definitely did not. <laughs> Have an idea for a death battle? Leave it in the comments below. Want to win a copy of this episode's script signed by Wiz and yours truly? Well, scroll down to the Gleam widget below and enter to win. Thank you for watching. And pause. That does my reaction. It... Yeah, I apologize. I had no idea I didn't react to Kirby vs. Majin Buu. Yeah. Well, at least I did, and now I found some others I haven't reacted to. So, there's that. I still really should go to the other stuff I haven't watched or whatever. But, anyway, hope you guys like the reaction, and have a nice day.